Hey, 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 welcome back to Powertrain On Demand. I am Sam, and today I'm gonna take you through a workout that's gonna attack our legs, attack a little bit of stability, which means our balance on one leg, and then we're also gonna end it with a few glute exercises. So, I hope you have your trackers, so whether you wear a heart rate monitor or a watch to track that fitness, get your water bottle. If you want the extra challenge today, I do have some bands that you can use and I'll let you know when you can use that. A long band, a short band, and then possibly some dumbbells. So we do have a little bit of equipment and then also a mat. Are you ready to get warmed up? Our warm up today is gonna be Tabata. So we're gonna have 20 seconds of work with 10 seconds of rest in between. Going through two rounds, starting with a three lateral run sideways with a crunch up. Are we ready to get started? We're gonna start in five, four, three, two, and go. So 20 seconds, we're gonna go side. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right, so pick that up. Here we go. Now that you have that motion, let's take it up a notch. 20 seconds, go. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Good, so we're moving side to side. We do have some lateral movements today in our work, so we wanna get those muscles ready. Moving to the next part, we're gonna step back, explode up. Back, explode up. So there's that one-legged move. Back, explode up. Two, and go. Lunge, pop. Lunge, pop. As you can see, I'm swinging my arms with that to give me some momentum. Switch leg, back, up. If this is a little challenging for you, just take a little touch back. Next thing we're gonna do, we have our third exercise. We're gonna go into an isolated squat. Tap to the side, tap to the side. Three, two, go. So we're staying nice and low in those legs. And again, this is just a warm up. This is telling our body that we're gonna get ready to do some work. We love that work. Keep going, four, three, two, here we go. We're just gonna run it out for the last few seconds with some high knees. Here we go, three, two, and go. Here's your 20 seconds. So as we're doing our high knees, you keep running. When you come up, your knee wants to come up here. We don't wanna lean back to pull those knees up, right? We wanna use that core tight. Pop, 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 pop. All righty, we're going back to the top in three seconds. We have that 10 seconds of rest. We're gonna do the one, two, three. One, two, three. In three, two, and go. Maybe now that you know the movement, you can move it a little faster. So when you are doing it, make sure you breathe so nobody falls over here, all right? So one, two, hey, one, two, three, crunching up. Take your rest, 10 seconds. Going into that lunge with a power hop. So we're stepping back, driving that knee up. Three, two, go, back, up, back. So we wanna explode, swing that leg. Maybe if you're not jumping, you're just bringing that leg high and high. So we're transitioning into one leg or you're exploding up. Two and one, good. Isolated squat with our toe tapped out to the side. Get set, three, two and go. So notice, the height of my head is staying the same. I'm not popping up. I'm gonna really fight to keep myself isolated in that squat. Five seconds. Coming up on a break. Two, one, 10 second rest. This is the last thing we're doing for the warm up. Then we're going into our first set of leg exercises. Three, two, high knees, go. Again, remember, if I turn sideways to you, 
My back is flat. I'm not arching to throw those knees up. Stay tight. Maybe today you're marching. Maybe you're a little sore. So just get that blood flowing. Two and done. Just with the warm up, not with anything else. All right, you guys, catch your breath. You should feel good and warm from the waist down. If you need to, throw in some arm circles while I talk about the next section of our work, okay? So, we're gonna have three sections of work, two exercises each. Section one, we have eight, or I'm sorry, 10 reps, okay? You're gonna do a three count pulse. One, two, three, up, down. One, two, three, up, down. That's your first exercise. We're gonna do that 10 times. When we're done with that, we're gonna take a nice deep breath. We're gonna turn into a pendulum RDL. What? Working balance, okay? You may grab a dumbbell if you have them. If you don't or you're still working balance, don't worry about it. I'm gonna start with that foot back. As I tip forward, my chest goes down, my leg goes up, and I bring it back together, okay? So we're working into that balance up, okay? So those are your two exercises. We'll do eight on the right, eight on the left. We're gonna start though with those three pulse squat jumps for 10. Are we ready? Let's get set, nice wide feet, driving those hips down and back, sitting down, here we go. We're gonna do a quarter, one, two, three, explode, up, one, two, three, up, three, two, three, up. If you notice, my hips are flying through, so I'm activating my glutes. Up, two, three, up. If we're not jumping today, I still want you to reach up, but you're just going up on the toes. Up, two more, two, three, up. Last one, two, three, up, down. Woo, shake them out, shake them out. Grab your dumbbell if you would like a little bit more of a challenge. If your balance is great, awesome. Grab that dumbbell. If we're still working to get more stable, you are not grabbing a dumbbell. I wanna feel my whole foot on the floor from the big toe all the way around to the heel. I'm going for eight. We're going down, 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 up, two, two, three, up. Good, nice and controlled movement here. Slight bend in the knee. Don't lock the knee out. There's no impact to this movement. We are just solely working that leg, the stability of the core. Last one on the right. Two, three, and up. Switch your weight if you have one. If not, shake that leg out. I know it's talking to you. Starting with my feet under my hips, I'm gonna tap that foot back, finding where that stability is. Sometimes we tap back and we go, whoa. Keep those shoulders over top of those hips, over top of that leg. You've got eight, here we go. One, two, three, and two, two, three. Feel the whole foot on the floor, my big toe, all the way around to the back of my heel. My knee is slightly bent. It's not locked. My chest and my foot are rising and lowering together. So I'm working some flexibility and stretch. Last one, two, three, and up. Woo! You're a little wobbly. It's all right, you get two more chances to execute that properly. We're gonna go back to the top. Three pulse squat with the jump at the top. You're either jumping, exploding those hips and those glutes forward, or your explosion still happening with the hips and the glutes, but you might be just going up on those toes to save your knees. Here we go. One, two, three, up. Two, two, three, up. Don't hold that breath. Three, two, three, up, four, 
two, three. Up, keep that chest lifted. Two, three, up, five, two, three, up, good. Six, remember low impact, just up. Seven, two, three, up, eight, two, three, good. Now make sure that we're using those legs. Are your legs screaming or is your back tipping? Last one, up. As we get tired, don't cheat yourself. Don't turn into a chicken and pecking your head. Remember, I want the hips moving in that range of motion. Here we go. Grab your weights. If you're using them, grab them. If you're not, just work on that technique of stability. Here we go. Chest and leg work together. One, two, three. Two, two, three. Three, two, three. My goal, four, is to have a straight line from the top of my head all the way to my heel. Controlling that weight, two more. Seven, two, three. Soft knee, eight, two, three, and up. Good. Is your core feeling it? Is your lower back feeling it? We are definitely waking up that lower back. Might feel a little tight because we're getting into that hammy. Here we go. Other side. Three, two, one. Here we go. Down. Keeping that chest lifted. Up. Two, two, three. Remember, there's no impact to this. So the only modification would be no weight, and maybe not so far down. Maybe we're just picking that leg up. Two, three. Good job, you guys. You've got three more. If not, we're going all the way, trying to hit that horizontal line. And the last one, here we go. One, two, three, and up. Good, shake it out. How are we feeling? Good? If you're feeling good, I want to hear a big old woo woo in your house, in your office. I don't know where you're at doing this, but give a little woo woo because you feel good today, right? Here we go. You feel good because you've turned on the video. Last set of this. Your body knows what to expect. You're a little fatigued, so it might be a little bit more challenging, but I want you to put your mind to it and let's get going. Three pulse jump. We go one, two, Three, up, two, two. Don't leave those hips behind. Three, two, three, up. Good, fire those hips forward. Three, up, five, two, three. Use those legs. Low impact, remember, just up on the toes. Six, two, three, up, seven, two, three. Keep that chest up, eight, two, three. Give me that big jump. Come on, last two. Two, three, up. Come on, last one. Work for it. Earn it. Up, down. Nice. Shake it out. Woo. Maybe you want to bend down, touch those toes real quick. Wake up that back. Feeling a little tight. I get it. I'm not even going to use the dumbbells right now. I'm just going to work on that stability while my legs are fatigued. Three, two, and one. Two, three, up. Two, two, three, up. Keep a straight line from the top of the head down through that spine. Is the full foot on the floor? Or are you rocking back or falling forward? Woo, or backwards like I just did. Last two. Up, last one. Two, three, whoo. Holy moly. Here we go, you guys. Getting into the other side. So find that balance. When I take my foot back, you're gonna feel your weight shift from both feet. If I'm straight on, you're gonna watch your body or feel your body go like this. Put the weight in that other leg. Don't try to stand here and pick it up. It doesn't work. Shifting to that leg that's gonna work. Leg back, we go. One, two. Three, two, two, three, 
three, two, good. Use that foot into the ground. Dig those feet into the ground. Soft knee. Here we go. Halfway there. Woo -hoo! Woo! Last three. Three, two, one. We go. Two, two, one. Last one. One, two, three, and up. Holy moly. Let's dance around. Roll down. Stretch that back out. Roll it up slow. This workout is not about blazing out and getting the heart rate up and being completely exhausted and breathless. Now, I am breathless because I'm talking to you, but this is more about our strength that we wanna work, okay? So hopefully you're feeling a little bit of that. Like I said, if your back is feeling tight, roll down and through, soft knees, press into one glute, press into the other, roll it up nice and slow. Are we ready? Let's move into the next section of um, exercises. So we have something called a low squat jack, and we're gonna step into a lunge hold. So starting with our feet right under our hips, I'm gonna start low, out, in, hold. Two, in, out, in, hold. Three, in, out, in, hold, okay? So you're jumping out, together, step. You're gonna hold that, okay? We're gonna do 10 total, which means only five on each leg. So you'll just hear me count to 10, and it'll be five on each leg, okay? Then what we're gonna go into is a lateral lunge. So we're gonna stay on both legs. I'm gonna drop into my activated leg, keeping this leg straight and the foot on the floor. Coming back up. Down into that leg. This leg bent straight, foot flat on the floor. We wanna get that ankle mobility. If we go here, we're not training that foot to be flexible, okay? That'll help us in our squats and all that good stuff later on down the road. Here we go. Back to the beginning, low jack lunge. Ready? Three, two, we go. Out, in, hold. Two, together. Out, in, back. Hold, together. Out, in, back. Three, together. Out, in, back. Four, together. Out, in, back. Five, good. That lunge, my back knee should be low. And in, back, hold, together. Eight, back, hold. Two more, nine, back. Hold, last one, out, in, back. Hold, together. Woo, burning, burning. Are you ready? Let's go into our lateral lunges. So right here, I'm gonna stand in front of you. Let me move my weights so I don't trip myself. Eight on each side. Two, one, and down. Up, two, up, three, up, four. Explode out of that leg. Up, six. I use my arms just for a little momentum and back. Next foot, feet are forward. Try not to let them sneak out to the side. Not ballet class. Working parallel. Three, two, one, down, up, down, up. If you want to work back into that stability and balance, maybe you're coming down, up, down, up, down, up. Two more, down. We're just tapping it in, down, and tap. Woo, I don't know about you, but I'm sweating. All right, are you ready? Back to that low squat jump with the lunge. Breathe. Here we go. Nice and low. Three, two, one. We go out in one, two, in. I'm not coming out of that squat. I'm staying low. Out and back. Hold, in, out and back. Four, in. Out and back. Five. Good. Drop that back knee. Hold it low. In and out. In back. Excellent job, you guys. Come on. Out. In. Eight. In. Hold. And nine. Back. Hold. In and out. In back. Ten. 
in. Woo -hoo. Back to those lateral lunges. Here we go. Four, three, two, go. Down. Two, three. Good job. Four. Remember, my foot stays flat. Six, seven, last one, eight, and up. Going to the other side. Shake them out. Wipe the sweat from your brow. Here we go. Know that you're doing some great work today. Down, up, down, two. Remember, test that stability. Can I find my balance from this position? Exploding up from that leg. Do I have power? Do I have balance? Three, two. Do I have flexibility in those hips? Good job, you guys. So shake it out, jog it out. We have one more round of that. Then we're gonna hit the deck. So if you have your mat, your mat is coming out next and we are gonna hit the deck for just a little bit of glute work. Are we ready? Last one. I want you to stay low in the squat the whole time. Do not come out of the squat. Three, two, go. Out, in, back. Hold, together. Out, in, back. Two, together. Out, in, back. Three, together. Notice where my body's staying. Four, together. Out, in, back. Five, together. Low, low, back. Six, good job. Keep the chest up, back. Knee down, and eight, back. Hold, and nine, back. Hold, last one, fight for it. Don't stop. Hold, and together. Woo! Last set of lunges, okay? Out to the left for eight, out to the right for eight. Power. Flexibility, stability, strength, here we go. All eight, unbroken. Three, two, one, down, up, down, up, down. Bring the foot in if you need that extra balance. Five, six, seven, last one, eight. Other side, set it up right into it. One, two, no time for break, three, Four and five. Come on, six. Get low. Seven. Last one and done. That was the end of section two. We have section three coming up. All right, now for section three. So we got those quads, we got those hamstrings. We got a little bit of core by keeping our chest up while we're working balance. We're going into section three. You will need your mat. If you have one close by, grab it. You will also need your long band and your short band. First exercise that we're gonna do is a kickback. We're actually gonna use the band. It'll give a little bit of resistance. If you don't have a band, that is totally fine. What you're gonna do, you are stepping into your band here. I'm gonna pull up to add a little bit more tension. I'm gonna be getting down on the ground into that bird dog position. So I'm down here. My hands are directly under those shoulders. My back is nice and flat. My pelvis is tilted forward. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna balance myself on my three limbs, my left hand, my right hand, my right knee. I'm gonna drive that leg back and in. Two, in, three. In, four, in. You should feel the glute, five, up, six. I want you to extend and keep that heel, flex. So I keep that band on. Here we go, eight, last two, nine, and 10. Good, so we wanna feel those glutes activating. Now, you can either stand up, step into the band with the other foot, back down on one knee, Hands go, oh, I'm gonna take my foot back first. Hands go forward. Here I am, back in that position. I'm gonna use my right leg now. So I'm gonna go out and down, two, down. Notice my spine is straight. If you have the chance, 
I want you to turn so that your side is on to me and you just have to turn your head here. You don't wanna be crunching your neck up. You've got three. You've got two, last one, one and down. That's our first glute exercise. Woo! Gonna have buns of steel. All right, remember that video? Old time video. Now, we're gonna take this, okay? I want you to bring that band over your feet and up right above your knees. If you don't have a band, no problem, no big deal, okay? I'm gonna turn side onto you so you guys can see. And laying down, I'm gonna keep my hip and my, um, I'm gonna bring my heels close to my glutes. I'm gonna keep my knees facing up. I'm gonna drive my hips up, out, in, down, up, out, in, down. Good. Keeping everything nice and flat. Get those hips up, out, in, down. You'll feel those abductors working. You've got four more. Four, out, in. As you open those knees, don't let your hips drop. So don't let this happen. Yeah, keep the hips up. Last one. Out. Just kidding. Let's go five more. How terrible am I? I know you were expecting to be done, but welcome to my class. I always say one more, and then we do it five more times. Up, two, down, and the last one up, down, boom, and down. Yeah, so it'll be 15 of those, okay? I won't add any more, but I just added five sets because I didn't really feel a burn yet, okay? And so until I feel a burn, I'm gonna make you guys work, okay? All right, let's go back to it. So you can do a little break dance move there. Woo! Grab your band. If you wanna just step into it this way, easy breezy. Get the tension that you need. If you didn't feel much last time, be honest with yourself. I would rather you only get eight that are really challenging than rep out 10 that were really light and didn't work, okay? So go for smaller reps if they're more challenging. I'm fine with that. Don't cheat yourself. We go up and two and three. Now, just because my butt is working right now and that one leg doesn't mean I forget about my upper body. I'm pressing through the arms into the ground. You've got two more. My core is tight. Last one, other side. All righty. So now I'm gonna get my band out. This is probably the hardest part, is trying to get into the band, get it all tangled up, and then back down and under. Remember, arms are under those shoulders, core is tight, my pelvis is tilted under, I'm not releasing. Mm-mm, not cute, okay? Maybe on the dance floor, but not in the workout room. We wanna stay safe. Out, in, two, keep that back solid. Three, four, and five, and six. Good job, press through those hands. Keep that core tight, two more. Last one, up, down. When you get to that full extension where my leg feels straight, I want you to make it straighter. Because if it feels straight, it means it's probably not. So you wanna go above and beyond and I want your leg to touch that side of the room and I want your head to pull towards that side of the room. Just like a band, yeah? You wanna stretch? Here we go. Break dance time, here we go. Woo! All right, other side. There, I gave you an extra breath. 15, get that band up there. If you don't have bands, that's totally fine. Just get those hips high and open those knees. Up, one, and down, two. Remember, the hips stay up as the knees open. Three, out, in. My elbows are close, so they're driving into the ground, giving me a little bit more stability. Here we go, 10 more. Isn't that terrible when I say 10 more? You expect like, oh, she's gonna say three? Nope, just 10. Up. Good job. Keep going, seven. And up, we go eight. Open those knees. Come on, work for it. Nine. 
Here we go. Ten. You've got five more. Set your mind to it. Five. Open. In. Down. Drive up. Four. Here we go. Don't stop because you've decided to stop. Let your body tell you when it's done working. Trust me, it will stop when it's done. Last one, come on up. Open, in, and down. Woo -hoo! Is your booty on fire? You're gonna get that nice dimple on the side, yeah? We want that. We want that nice booty booty. Here we go. Get your last time around. Last band, you guys. We're stepping into it. You should be pros at this now, right? I step into that band. I bring that foot back, making it tight. I'm sure you've snapped yourself in the back end once or twice during this. I've done it too. I practiced a lot, so I didn't do it on film, okay? Hands down, core tight, pelvis tight. Here we go, out and in. Remember, out. When I say straight, when you think that leg is straight, I want you to straighten it even more. Six, we've got seven. Come on, squeeze into the glutes. Nine, last one, 10. Good, excellent job, you guys. When I say the word squeeze, think of a contraction. Um, so it's making that muscle tight, all right? Making sure that you're contracting that muscle, isolating it. Sometimes I say squeeze and you're like, what? The band with my hand? Yeah, no, your glute muscle. Here we go. Oh wait, I did it wrong. Let me get into it. I didn't practice well enough to talk and do it at the same time. Setting up, three, two, here we go. We've got 10, nine, eight. My weight is even on both hands. My foot is staying flexed to lock that band halfway through. I feel a little bit of weight in my knee but the weight on all three limbs that are touching is even. Last one, up and hold. Ooh. All right, last one. We've got 15 reps. Can you do it? I know you can. Can you get out of the band first? Can you do it? I know you can, but you have to decide that you're gonna do it. I can't make you do anything, but you can push through and you can get all 15 of these. Are you ready? Here we go. The heel, heels are close to your rear end, but whatever, didn't want to say but, didn't know if it was appropriate. Here we go, we're going up. We've got one, open, in, down, two. All right, so right now, I want you to make a choice. How are you finishing this today? Don't close your eyes, don't turn your brain off. Now is the time to dig deep and decide what you want out of this work what are your goals what choice are you going to make are you going to make your body continue going or are you going to let your brain say no keep working here we are we're on the down slide you've got six more up six come on i want those hips higher than when you started five up and down you've got four come on don't let those hips sink three out, in, down, two more. What do you want today? Last one and up, open, in and down. Holy moly, roll it up. Wow, that was a good, good workout. Your glutes are on fire, mine are. My legs are on fire. If you wanna get a cool down, check out some of our cool down videos. My name is Sam with Powertrain On Demand and I hope to see you again soon. Thanks guys.